One thing that everybody should be doing, uh, but we all probably do pretty poorly, is a little bit of project management with all the tasks that we have to do, whether that be on like a large scale or like a smaller scale level. But like, let's say that I have a stack of projects that I need to get to and I need someone to prioritize, prioritize them for me, or let's say something is chat GPT. It's not a person, but you can talk to it like a human and it does pick up on what you're saying. So we have a bunch of tasks and I don't know which priority everything should be so can you just guess you know here's the list of tasks i want you to meet with i want to meet with bob about the company picnic i want to talk to the insurance company about the recent robbery at one of our company gas stations i need to plan out the next five years of my professional development i need to put a ticket in to get my computer fixed with it so i've got all this stuff going on but i really need someone to help me out or something to help me out to understand what priority that I should put all these tasks in. So what it's gonna do is I'm gonna give it all these tasks and say, hey, I got all this crap to do. Can you just tell me what I need to do first? Can you tell me what you think that I need to do first? And what's gonna be interesting here is based off the description of what you said about the tasks, it is uh, gonna give me a suggested priority, right? So first thing it does, it says, you know, hey, number one, you're gonna to wanna to address that robbery. This sounds really like a time sensitive issue. You know, uh, then let's meet with Bob. And then, you know, we'll think about, you know, planning out the next five years of uh, professional development as a, as a uh, subset of that. And then it ranks last uh, putting in a ticket to get the computer fixed with IT. And the first time I did this, this actually ranked this higher right under the insurance company because it recognized that, you know, uh, you know, that this was uh, important for me to do my job. And it was like, well, you're probably gonna need the computer to accomplish these other things. So it actually ranked us above the professional development. So um, what I can actually tell it is, I can just say like, but my computer doesn't work and that's really important. And I'm, I'm just acting like, I don't know anything here, I'm just saying, you know, I have no clue, but I just know that I need a computer to be able to do all these things. And that's all I expressed to chat was, oh, my computer doesn't work. What should I do? How should I set up these tasks? And then it's gonna go through and it's gonna say, well, if your computer isn't working, you know, you should get that fixed, right? So like, let's put that as the top priority. <laughs> now I'll say, uh, can you give me a new priority list then? which is kind of silly because I could just move the uh, order. I could just copy and paste it myself, but I can actually ask ChatGPT for me to just be like the ultimate lazy human and for it to do all of this task for me. And it will, it will spit out and be like, okay, fine. Here's a revised priority list. And then it puts the ticket at the top. Um, and then it talk, puts the robbery and then I meet with Bob and then I plan out the next five years of professional development. So if we had a longer list and we kind of told it some more background on the situation, it could give us a whole task priority list depending on the information that we provided to it. And then it can revise it and then spit that out in a, um, in a, in a format that's uh, valuable for us. So cool. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you even more things that you can do with ChatGPT as a professional. So stay tuned for that.